Right. Good evening. Here uh, we are going to start uh, the today's lesson. Uh, last time we uh, discussed, we were discussing about the computer memory. Right. Computer memory. Right. The computer memory you can uh, mainly uh, divide it into two parts. Right. Uh, that diagrammatically I can show the memory division, memory categorization here. Uh, when consider the computer memory, you can divide the, this memory into two separate uh, section, mainly two parts. Uh, one is primary and the second one, uh, secondary, secondary memory. Right. Uh, here, the main difference between these two is uh, normally primary memory we are using to store that data required to internal operations of the computer, internal operations of the computer. Already we discussed about the primary memory types also. We have four types of primary memories. Right. Remember. We have four types of primary memories, uh, RAM and the access memory, then uh, cache memory, uh, registers, and uh, the other one, last week we discussed about ROM, read-only memory. These are the four main uh, types of computer primary memory. Right? We learn uh, the features of each okay. memory. Yes, so oh. right. we learned uh, types of each memory, uh, features of each uh, type of memory here. Then we compare uh, with some descriptions, right? Uh, in that way, uh, already we uh, finished discussing the about uh, primary memory. Then we started the uh, other part of the memory, secondary. Secondary memory mainly available to the users, the documents that user created, created by users, mainly type of secondary memories we are using to store. Right? Therefore, we can say the secondary memories are available to, uh, available to store the user created works, that mainly. Right? However, uh, we learn there are three types of data you can find in the secondary memory. Three types of data can uh, remember the types of data you can store in the secondary memory. User data, user data, then uh, software or programs and operating system. Right? These are the main type of data which you can store in the uh, secondary memories. And then we started to discuss the, some example for uh, secondary memories. Uh, this example, we are divided uh, based on the uh, their technology. Right? Examples for secondary memories. We can uh, categorize three types of examples based on their uh, technology. Right? These three types are the first one, magnetic. Magnetic technology. Then another technology called optical. And the third one, uh, solid state technology. Solid state technology. These are the three main types of technologies that we are using to store the data. Right. Uh, some example for magnetic technology that uh, this is the one we are discussing here. Uh, main one is hard disk. Hard disk, in addition to hard disk, there are some other examples also, like uh, floppy, magnetic tape, like that. Uh, there are many other examples we can identify under magnetic. Then optical, uh, under optical uh, CDs, uh, DVDs, 
uh, blue ray right these are the example for uh, optical uh, under solid state pen drive or flash drive memory card or sd card are some of the examples you can find under solid state right uh, from this example we should want to discuss some uh, some examples in detail uh, last time we started the part uh, discussion of hard disk right that we uh, identified that part uh, i am showing the presentation here uh, this is the place where we stopped that last time and uh, magnetic uh, devices the first example is hard disk right hard disk the hard disk is the main storage device uh, in the computer main storage device right normally uh, the ranges capacity ranges you can uh, find from uh, 250 gb to 40 gb right that mainly but uh, there are some uh, hard disk available uh, less than 250 gb also Right, uh, the capacity of the hard disk uh, normally available from 250 GB to 4 TB, 4 terabytes. Uh, then external hard disk also available. Normally uh, hard disk available located inside the system unit, inside the system unit. But there are some uh, other hard disk available. You can fix uh, externally to the system unit those are called external hard disk right another feature is hard disk is capable of uh, the doing uh, performing the operation read and write read operation and write operation right uh, these are the, some features already we discussed this part uh, then i show you some pictures uh, hard disk this is another view of hard disk uh, this one is uh external hard disk here how uh, hard disk located inside the system unit right this is the point where we stopped uh, last week here the next thing now i am going to start from that point parts of hard disk we should want to identify the parts uh, and also we should want to get idea about the function of each part of the hard disk Right, then uh, from uh, like last time, I'm going to share the link uh, while I am explaining, uh, then you have to complete the, this activity also. Right. Now go to the chat box. I posted it twice here through the chat box. Now you can find the link. Click on the link there. Once you click on the link, here you can find the uh, open the worksheet. In this worksheet, uh, first exercises we already completed. You want to start from here in this activity. Right. Uh, this is the point you want to start. Right. Exercise ticker. Right. Uh, we'll back to the presentation again. After I am explaining, I will give time to complete that exercises. Right. Here, the part of hard disk. Uh, look at the parts here. Try to uh, locate these parts exactly what they are, uh, exist. Uh, platers. Then spindle spindle at the middle of uh, platers here then head part head is the uh, device that you are using to read and write operation then actuator arm how header is handled through the actuator arm and actuator axis also 
here at the uh, beginning of the head header part start with actuator axis then actuator also there actuator then we'll see the function of actuator also uh, then this side power connector this is the uh, place where you are going to connect your power then jumper blocks and the ide connector ide connector methene pradhana kotas tika hard disk ekke thiyena pradhana kotas tika hondai oy tika thiyena tang locate karaganna oluwata ganna idea ekka aragena then try to finish the exercise drag and drop exercise here uh, try to complete that exercise here after that uh, send the message okay Right, uh, that I am muted. That if you are feeling that I am muted, please inform me. Okay, so pull we'll, uh, inform that. Otherwise, uh, still muted.
right okay uh, however i am not explaining much of the things here uh, matching the correct label with the hard disk right okay then we'll move uh, one by one uh, back to again the presentation right the first part we are going to learn uh, platter platter is the place uh, is the device where you are going to store your data right? once you uh, connect the electricity with the hard disk then what is happening there uh, making the electromagnetic field electromagnetic field and due to this electromagnetic field, it will capable of capturing the data. Right? Uh, then it will uh, more organize. These platters are more organized uh, to store the data and information. To more organized mean it will uh, create uh, sectors. It will create a, a special term called tracks and sectors. This track and sectors they are using these tracks and sectors to organize uh, data and information and then later you will learn there is an operation called format format the hard disk because of this formatting it will create uh, tracks and sectors uh, in the in these platters right uh, in the hard disk not only having one platter it will contain more than one platters right each organized one under another that next I will show how platers are organized inside the hard disk. Uh, these are organized one under another. Right? All of these uh, platers having these tracks and sectors in both sides. Right? Therefore, it will capable of uh, storing large amount of data here. Right? Then look at this diagram, how platers are organized in the hard disk in this shape. Right? Uh, plate Hard disk ke kya tule organize sila tini ekak kya teka or thirty tini ekak kya teka a thirty de pa tme or tracks and sectors create pino tracks and sectors tino thirty de pa tme eni sa vishal data ganna dengo tracks and sectors tini mene me vidhe te look at the uh, diagram uh, right side here the way how tracks and sectors are organized in each platters right in this uh, purple color here in this part called as this sectors this sectors uh, then uh, blue color part this is called tracks track sector uh, actually this is called track sector this blue color part this whole circle right part of whole circle look at this red one Red one is the uh, complete circle. This is called track. Some poor circle. Apis alako take a track. Aviator make a tracks hatarak pino. Track sector can me learn in part cotasing cave in a neighbor cotasama track sectors can. This sector can me minimum dump parting theater cotas. Right, at the radiate up it uh skin eva, Hadunaga and the Pulu. Right. Now try to fill the complete the activity, next activity here. Yeah. Right. After completing it, uh, give the message okay.
right here, uh, Supul is completed. I think Chetan and Anjana is doing that one. Uh, then look at the answers for this question. The platters are organized in a hard disk. The platters are organized in a hard disk uh, parallel to each one and another as high Here it is clear that we uh, saw the picture also, it organized as one under another. The platters are virtually organized to store data, only tracks, only sectors, tracks and sectors. Yes, tracks and sectors uh, are the sections they are using to store the data in the hard disk. Right, then look at the true or false statements here. Hard disk are use optical technology to save data, optical. Hard disk is not using the optical technology that earlier I am categorized uh, secondary devices based on the technology. Right? Hard disk we found under magnetic technology, not under optical technology. Therefore, the statement is false. Right? The shape created by arranging uh, platters one under another is called that. What is called that? The shape created uh, by arranging each plate uh, one under another. We can, uh, we are given a, a specific geometrical shape here. Can someone uh, tell me that uh, geometric shape here? That the ekakyate ekakte beaming labene geometric rupee, geometric shape peka, api okata kena cylinder kena, cylinder eka, right? Therefore, uh, is called cylinder. The statement is true. Third one, hard disk is more suitable to carry copy of uh, MS Office software. MS Office software actually uh, to move uh, the copy of Office software to one location to another location. We are not normally use hard disk for that. Right? We are using uh, CDs or DVDs to move software. Therefore, the statement is false. Uh, next one, all necessary files are copied to the hard disk when you finish, uh, when you install Windows 10 to your computer. Right? That statement is correct because uh, once we installed a software to the computer mean all necessary uh, files will copy to your computer. Right? After installing the software to the computer means all necessary files are copied to your hard disk. Right? Therefore, the statement is true here. Last one, hard disk is more suitable uh, to store your assignment works. Right? That's also correct because uh, normally hard disk we are using to store our data, user created data. Right? One of the example is excitement through the word processing packages or so, uh, similar packages, using similar packages, you can create your homework or your assignments. Then once you create your assignment, most suitable place to store the, your assignment is hard disk. Therefore, uh, statement is true here. Right, that's about uh, platters in the hard disk, then we'll move to the next part. Uh, spindle, spindle, this disk is uh, one, uh, one to one mount support. That means uh, once you open, once you switch on the computer, then it will start uh, to activate your hard disk. Starting activate the hard disk means this uh, platters are started to rotate around the spindle. May spindle like a rotator carak in the patanga. Hard disk like a carak in the patanga. That is a spindle like a atramika adarka. Or a tati ekakya teka. Tabage nima sandaha when adarka. That is why it says one to one mount. Right? It supports uh, to arranging this disk one uh, under one under another. Right? Then look at the picture, close picture of the spindle here. Methi ne spindle ekat chaya rupya hard disk ke me ratu itali in dakpalati ne spindle ke 
ඒකල් විතරක් එලියට අරගත්තොත් මෙන්න මේ වගේ රූපයක් තමයි තියෙන්නේ. ඒ රෝක වටේට තමයි තැටි සම්බන්ධ කිරීම සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ. හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එක ඔන් වුණාම නැත්තම් කම්පියුටරේ ඔන් වුණාම ස්ටාර්ට් හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එක වැඩ කරන්න පටන් ගන්නවා. වැඩ කරනවා කියලා කියන්නේ ඔක තැටි කැරකෙන්න පටන් ගන්න. Right. That's the task of the spindle. Uh, then try to complete right before complete the worksheet there i am going to show in how spindle is working right inside the computer how uh, these plates are rotated around the spindle right then look at the video here this video show you how uh, plates are rotating around the spindle then i will show the video later uh, the worksheet is now the previous one is okay so like you are i want that i am going to change the worksheet link right here now you can find the new worksheet link click on the link මේක අලුත් link එක right කමන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා link එකේ එක activity එකක් අපිට misplace වුණා කමක් නැහැ ඒ activity link එක මම එවන්නම් ඒකට ඒක complete කරන්න පුළුවන් right ඒතර ඉස්සෙල්ලා අපි සාකච්ඡා කරේ මේ spindle කියන එක ඊට පස්සේ worksheet එක අලුත් එක දුන්නා now uh, look at the next part here head head right a hard disk header or head this is the device we are using to store uh, write and read the data on the disk right how we are going to write or read the data from the disk is using header there are uh, headers you can find both side of the disk right then uh, look at the picture here you can see some uh, header part here once uh, i am moving the mouse this is the place uh, where you can call head meka thama me head eka me podi kotasak eliyata avilla thiyena eka thama head eka e wage ekak yatak thiyena right oy deka athare thama tatiya thiyenne right the uda data tika uda head eken kiyawana yata data tika yata head eken kiyawana right මේ තියෙන්නේ ෆික්ස් කරයින් පස්සේ හෙඩ හෙඩ් එක මෙන්න මේ විදිහට තමයි හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එකේ දැන් හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එක ස්ටාර්ට් කරපුවාම මේක රොටේට් වෙනවා මේ ස්පින්ඩල් එක වටා රොටේට් වෙනකොට මේ ආම් එක හෙඩ එක එහාට මෙහාට ගමන් කරනවා right once uh, started the computer then hard disk start to work start hard disk start in work mean it uh, this disk start to rotate once you uh, start rotating that particular header also move uh, around the disk me disk ekak wata ehata mehata gamak karu right on okay saha disk ekke arrangement ekak pilibandawa man pennan nan video ekak at wait until i'm find in the video that
right here look at the video if you want to sell online make sure you stand out go to wix e delete in the folder, copy and paste. Uh, it, when they are doing this type of operation, how, how uh, the header and the hard disk working. Right. Then I think you got idea about uh, how hard disk organize these platters inside, inside there and how uh, the uh, arm header working inside the hard disk also. Right, then we'll uh, back to the presentation and the worksheet. Right, the first try to complete the worksheet. Uh, in the new worksheet, now you can uh, complete the first activity here. Right, uh, try to fill this one. Then by looking at the uh, statement here, now you can uh, complete that part. After completing, send the message, okay. Right, Tanjana and Chaitanya, okay. Uh, Supul also, okay, right. Then we'll move to the next part. Uh, uh, actuator arm, right? Actuator arm, the part is used to move the header back and forth, right? Once you started uh, rotating the disc that earlier you saw in the video, 
the header is uh, header also start to move back and forth uh, along the this right how uh, move back and forth using the actuator arm actuator arm uh, support to move back and forth to the head right me thiyenne actuator arm ekak meka wena maran dakunu patte pennenawa separate picture here me thiyenne e okkoma ekata ekkau karala thama me wan patte rupsata ara thi right that is called actuator arm uh, then next one we called as uh, right here the connector this is regarding the connectors uh, ide there are two types of connectors in the hard disk uh, that is called ide or sata there are two types here in the left side the connector uh, called ide right this ide connector you are using to connect your hard disk with the motherboard right computer athule thiyena motherboard kiyen ekata oy hama upakaranayakma sambandha wenna e wage hard disk ekat motherboard ekata sambandha wenna how you are going to fix hard disk with your motherboard is through the ide connector right in the left side diagram it is clearly you can see the style or way of uh, ide connector right there are separate cables also available then i will show this uh, cables also through these cables you can connect this uh, hard disk with the motherboard in the right side another type of uh, connector right that is called sata sata connector there are separate cables available uh, to connect from hard disk to motherboard right i will show uh, this sata cables also until that remember these connectors either ide or sata we are using to connect your hard disk from hard disk to the motherboard hard disk ekai motherboard ekai connect karanna thamai me connectors pavichchi karanna data connectors kiyala kiyena warga dekak thiyena ide sa sata kiyala ide thamai dakunu pat wan patte pinture thiyenne sata kiyana ekak thamai dakunu patte pintu eti right now uh, go to the here before that make up balanda uh, that already i mentioned about the cable right in the right side in this slide here you can see the ide cables methin ide cable eka oy wan patte thiyenne motherboard ekata me cable eka sambandha wena thana right me cable eke ek end ekak yanawa hard disk ekata අනිත් එන්ඩ් එක යන්නේ මදර් බෝඩ් එකට මේ වම් පැත්තේ තියෙන්නේ මදර් බෝඩ් එන්ඩ් එක මදර් බෝඩ් එකේ මෙන්න මේ IDE කනෙක්ටර් කියලා අපි කියනවා right ඒකේ ට මේ කේබල් එකේ එක සයිඩ් එකක් මේ නිල් පාට සයිඩ් එක සම්බන්ධ වෙනවා right අනිත් සයිඩ් එක යනවා හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එකට ඒකේ තියෙනවා කනෙක්ටර්ස් දෙකක් තියෙනවා මාස්ටර් ඇන්ඩ් ස්ලේව් කියලා ඒ කියන්නේ මේක ඕන නම් හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් දෙකකට සම්බන්ධ කරන්න පුළුවන් if you have two hard disk then uh, you can set uh, the same cable for the two hard disk or either hard disk or cd drive cd or dvd drive ekata thiyenne me connect ekama ekama cable ekin hard disk ekai cd drive ekai connect karanawa nan menne me wage cable ekak use karanne etara ekak master karapuwama anika slave karanna puluwa master slave kiyana eka අපි හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එකේ මුලින් මතක ඇති හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එක මම පෙන්න පුවම ජම්ප බ්ලොක් කියලා එකක් පෙන්නෝ අන්නේ ජම්ප එකෙන් තමයි හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එක මාස්ටර් එකක් ද ස්ලේව් ද කියලා සෙට් කරන්නේ right uh, then look at the uh, this diagram here this is the way how uh, sata connectors appear on your motherboard right මේකේ යට රූප සටහනේ බලන්න මේ කහ පාට සොකට්ස් තියෙන motherboard එකේ මේවා SATA සොකට්ස් මේ තියෙන්නේ right ඒ රූපේම දකුණු පැත්තේ තියෙන එක මේ හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එකේ ඉඳලා එන කේබල් එක හාඩ් ඩිස්ක් එකේ පැත්තෙන් 
සාටා කේබල් එක සම්බන්ධ වෙලා තියෙන විදිය මේ දකුණු පැත්තෙන් තියෙන ලොකු පින්තූරයක් කේබල් එකට සඳහා right now uh, move to the activity sheet there try to complete uh, this one this one yes මෙන්න මේ දෙකම try කරන්න try කරලා මට okay කරන්න And after you finish, uh, then send the message OK. I think uh, Supul also okay here. Right. That's about hard disk. Right. We are discussing about secondary memories. Under secondary memories, there are three technologies, magnetic, optical, and solid state. Right. Here we are uh, discussing about, we are discussing about magnetic technology. Under magnetic technology, the first one is hard disk. Right. Then we are going to discuss another example for magnetic technology. Actually, uh, in these days, uh, this technology, these devices is not normally used, but in the older days, very popular among the computer users to store the data. Right. Uh, that is called example two, magnetic tape. Magnetic tape. Right. Earlier days, very popular, especially uh, first and second generation of the computers. Magnetic tape are the main media, main medium to, uh, uh, they are used to store data and information. Right. However, uh, currently also uh, using some of the organization, they are using the magnetic tape, uh, especially to maintain the backups. Right. Backup mean copy of the files. And for the security reason, some organization, they want to uh, maintain a copy of the same set of file in another location. That is called backup. Right? The suitable media uh, to maintain the backup is magnetic because the capacity and the cost. Uh, still, the magnetic tape you can uh, purchase in lower cost and uh, more capacity. That is why they are still popular. Right. However, it is all the method, but still uh, they are using some uh, organization uh, as a 
uh, backup method. In these images, you can see uh, how the magnetic tape uh, look like. In the left side diagram, uh, I think some of you are familiar with this one. I may give a cassette tape. I cassette tape. I have a cassette tape. Uh, one the competitive in first second generation solar magnetic tape medium make a by the car it right then we'll move to the activity and complete it now okay. try to fill this one here Here it is an old method of storing data. This medium is still used for uh, backup method because more capacity is available at lower cost. Right. These are the major points you want to remember. Uh, when regarding the magnetic tape, it is an uh, older technology. However, still they are using, some organization they are using uh, to maintain the copy of files. That means backups, uh, mainly because of capacity and the lower cost. Right, then we'll back to the presentation here. Uh, that is about magnetic technology. Uh, then under secondary memories, the second type of technology is optical. Now we'll see, uh, try to get some idea about what is optical. Secondary memory cell, Deveni Taakshine. Datta Gabada Kiri me Deveni Taakshine, Vidyata, Api Haduna Gano, optical clinic. Palavini Katama magnetic. Optical Kela Kiane, Aloke, light technology. They are using the concept of light to store the data. Uh, optical media here you can uh, see the slide here some of the examples also you can see for the optical media they are using theories of light to store the data they are store data numerically that means ones and zeros using a laser beam uh, especially optical media you can use to move data from one location to another location easily you can uh, transfer data from one location to another location, especially CDs and DVDs. They are using to transfer software, computer games, films, right? Such a uh, such type of data and information easily you can transfer from one location to another location. Pahaswing apita datta saha toro toro chitra pati vageva computer games software vagedeva. CD, DVD, right. uh, before going to the activities, then uh, try to complete the next slide also. Here, regarding the compact disc, example one, uh, CDs. CD stand for compact disc. Right here, they are giving some information about the compact disc. That's the older technology in the optical Tech, under optical technology, CDs are the first one. Under CD also, there are three categories. CD-ROM, CD-R, and CD-RW. CD-ROM means compact disk read-only memory. Only you are able to read the information. Right? Used only to read uh, written data and instruction. Right? Whatever the data written in the disk, you can read it. That is why it's called CD-ROM, compact disk read-only memory. The second type is CD-R, compact disk write once. That particular type of disk is able to uh, write one time in the disk. 
can be used to write and data, write data and information once until the capacity field. That is called a CDR, CDR key. Let the write once key. Neke eka parak pamana clear ne pulo. Right? Eka parak clear when passe, eat passe, that the key of under itarai bavita karane pulo. Then third type CDRW, right? We called as compact disk rewritable. Rewritable. The name gives the meaning. Rewritable. That means uh, you can. Uh, use this type of disk to uh, write many times on your disk, right? Erased and it, it will be able to erase and rewrite. Erase and rewrite, right? That is called CDRW. Then regarding the size, then you have to get some idea about the capacity. Uh, CD-ROM or CD compact disk normally uh, minimum 650 megabytes and up to 900, and, uh, 900 megabytes. Right, then we'll move to the activity and complete. Uh, try to complete these two, this one and the other one. First, try to complete this one. Uh, after you complete in send the message okay uh, activity they come around the curl okay message okay what Right here, the first activity data is stored using theories of what? Light. Data deposition. Deposition or uh, store. Data deposition is done numerically. That means ones and zeros using what? Here, laser beams. Laser beams. Right. Then some examples, CD. Uh, what's the second example? DVDs, DVD, uh, Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D. Right. In that way, you can complete this one. Uh, then try to complete this one also. And if you are not remember, you can follow this. Based on this slide, uh, try to complete that one. After completing, give the message.
Right, I think uh, Chetan is okay. So we'll also uh, do in that one. Uh, that's about uh, CD and optical technology. Example number one, CD. Then uh, another development uh, in the same technology, optical technology. Uh, next, I am explaining another example, DVD. Actually, when a problem with here is the capacity, only restrict to 650 to 900 megabytes. And it will not uh, enough to store latest kind of software and computer programs. Therefore, uh, under the optical technology, they are introducing another uh, example called DVD. Right here, uh, it is explaining DVD stand for digital versatile disc. Right. Uh, the similarly, here also having three versions, uh, the same features DVD instead of CD ROM. DVD ROM. Only uh, you can read the information, written information. Uh, not will be it be not will not be able to write. Uh, that is called DVD ROM. DVD a digital versatile disc read only memory. Then uh, DVD R, right? Very similar to earlier CDR, digital versatile disc write once. Write once means only one time uh, you are allowing to write something on the disc, right? Therefore, that is called DVD R. Third type DVD RW. Uh, very same to the third version of the CD, DVD RW. They are allowing uh, write, then erase and rewrite, erase and rewrite. That's the third version of the DVD. Right? When considering the uh, size or capacity, minimum is 4.7, the maximum 9.4. In between, you can uh, store, uh, you can use DVD to store data and uh, information, right? Then uh, before moving to the activities, the, we are going to complete the third example also, third type, uh, Blu-rays. That's the latest uh, technology under uh, optical. The first one, Blu-ray uh, recordable. Blu-ray disc recordable, Blu-ray disc R can be used to write data and information once until capacity is filled, right? That's the uh, similar type uh, in the second version of the DVD or CDs. Right? They, they are able to write once until completing the capacity. That is, they are called Blu-ray disc R. Then uh, Blu-ray RE, recordable and erasable. That means you can erase and rewritten, erase and rewritten. Right, that technology is available under Blu-ray. Another specific version of the Blu-ray called Blu-ray 3Ds. If you want to move 3D games or 3D uh, videos specially, then you, you want to use uh, Blu-ray 3Ds. It is not allowed to move, allowed to use uh, CDs or DVDs to uh, transfer 3D type video. That's the only device you have to use to transfer uh, 3D films or uh, 3D uh, games from one location to another location. Then look at the uh, size capacity. It is uh, very large when compared with the CDs and DVDs. Uh, max minimum 25 GB uh, to 128 GB. Uh, then very large when compared with the CDs or uh, DVDs. Right. Uh, then before moving to the next part here, uh, here actually you can see some images regarding the CDs or DVDs here. Pintura uh, kipya metana tieni. One pette uda tieni CD RW eka. Kekene read write kene eka CD RW apisella pahadri karagatta eka. Yatarup Satani Tinoka Haraskada make a data store when the Tienama make a Kadla Belut, Tapilopur La Belut, may Yatatinogi lands and pit scale. Land can make Sarat Nerla Tinik with a pair of Atipodi 
පින්තූරේ කොටුවක් ඉස්සරහට ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා. ඒක land high pitch කියලා අපි කියනවා. යටට තියෙන එක pitch කියලා අපි කියනවා. low pitch එකක් ඒක. ඔව් data රැඳෙන්නේ ඔන්න ඔය කියන තැන් වල. ඒතර මේකේ laser beam එකක් වදිනවා ඇවිල්ලා මේ රුප්සටාන බලන්න. දකුණු පැත්තේ උඩ රුප්සටාන මේ layers ටික පැහැදිලිව තියෙනවා. ඔය label එක තියෙන layer එක තමයි කොළ පාට layer එක. ඔය මේ CDRW කියලා තියෙන්නේ වම් පැත්තේ රුප්සටාන. අන්න ඒ layer එක තමයි කොළ පාට layer එක. දැන් yellow color layer එකක් තියෙනවා. metal layer එක ඊට පස්සේ එනවා. මෙතන පැහැදිලිව තියෙනවා මේ land කියන අවස්ථාව සහ pit. උඩට එන අවස්ථාව land, යට අවස්ථාව pit. स्टोव the data store in a video how uh, in the optical technology how data store you can uh, i am going to show a video again this video explain how uh, data store in the cds right uh, look at the video here then after that you can complete the activity right first look at the video How do Blu-ray and other optical discs work? Blu-ray is the descendant of Laserdisc, part of a group of storage media collectively known as optical discs. CDs, DVDs, and later Blu-ray discs are some of the best known examples of these media. These discs use the same form factor and the devices that read them use lasers. Optical discs have a layer where pits and flat area contain the disk's data in simple binary. A pit represents zero, whereas a flat area represents one. Land and pit skin. Land skin of one, pit skin of zero. That area is one area. In my view, the data store is one cent, zero. Right, then we'll see how the laser beam work. A laser is pointed at the disc as it spins. When the laser light hits a flat area, it reflects towards a photoelectric cell, which then detects the light. When the laser light strikes a pit, it doesn't get reflected towards the photoelectric cell. This way, the photoelectric cell can interpret the laser's light as binary data. Reflected light equals one, no light equals zero. This binary is then processed by a computer as data, a movie, or music, for instance. Right. Then I think you got idea about uh, how data can store in the optical disk here. Right now, move to the activity part. Uh, then try to complete this one. Example two, example three, right. example two and three. Uh, try to complete that part. After completing, give the message, right?
If you are finished, uh, send the message. Okay. Uh, this is for example two. Then example three. Uh, by looking at this slide, you can fill out the example three. I, yeah, I think uh, one is finished. Yes. Yeah, Anjana, again, you can uh, see the link here now. Okay, uh, Chetan and Supul is okay now. Anjana, you can do it later now. Uh, right. That's the third example under uh, optical technology. Uh, then the third type, secondary uh, devices we, uh, we are discussing here. First one, magnetic. Second one, optical. Uh, under optical, we discussed a CD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Then third technology is solid state. Then we should have a little idea about uh, the solid state devices also. Right. Then uh, look at the slide here, solid state devices. Right. Uh, in the solid state devices does not have any uh, mechanical things, right? Uh, mechanical parts there. In the hard disk, I think you can remember many uh, mechanical parts there moving around uh, here and there. That's called mechanical. But in the solid state, uh, even in the optical technology, lots of uh, mechanical uh, things there. But in the solid state, no mechanical parts, so more moving things, right? They are using a solid state between uh, two uh, pairs, then two uh, ends, they are uh, put in the keep, keep a solid state, uh, solid state, right? I think you can remember this term, uh, this term when we discuss about the uh, LCD technology, liquid crystal display, right? Like that, uh, solid state, you can find between the uh, ends. Right? They are using, then we are uh, sending the electricity through this uh, solid state, then it will be able to store data, right? That first technology, therefore this technology first used in the, uh, used to create the uh, RAM, RAM cards. They are using solid state technology 
in that time right uh, then later we can find many type of solid state devices uh, pen drives so or flash drive then memory cards right then look at the images there you can see some examples solid state devices uh, then memory chips uh, or memory sticks mean flash drive then flash memories like that uh, many uh, examples you can find for the solid state devices right okay then uh, we'll move to the last activity of this section uh, try to do this activity after that uh, we will finish this part this section here you want to uh, join the relevant device solid state hard disk then what's the suitable uh, image for solid state hard disk here attach solid state hard disk to uh, the last one this is the uh, ssd uh, memory memory stick mean normally pen drives then uh, link memory stick to here flash memory Meneme Katama Galapeneka flash memory or SD card decata Vada Tarama Vishalai micro flash memory Katama Metini Kuda Pramaleka. Right. Then in that way you can uh, join in the uh, images and the device here. That's about solid state devices. Now we finish discussing about the example for secondary devices. And here still we are discussing about memory. Memory is divided into mainly two parts, uh, secondary and primary. Primary memory means uh, we are using store data that required to internal operations of the computer. Primary memory, again, we can uh, divide it into uh, four sections, RAM, uh, cache memory, registers, and the ROM. Right, uh, each uh, features of each part of the memory we already discussed. Then the other main part of the memory is secondary memories. These secondary memories you can identify under three technologies that is magnetic, optical, and solid state. Right now, we are finishing uh, discussing about the memory, memory section. Right, the next section is here, we should, according to our uh, textbook, the next section is. Uh, you want to discuss about uh, ports, computer ports, right? Uh, before moving to the computer ports, actually we should want to do one comparison regarding the memories we learned up to now. Uh, to do that, we should have another link, right? This is the new link I am going to share with you now. Right. Open the new link here. Now posted it twice. Go to the chat box and click on the link. Right now you can see a new worksheet. Here you have some activities. Right before completing the first one, uh, you want to get this point memory comparison, secondary memory comparison here. Right. Then look at the chart here. Uh, they are going to compare with some uh, description. First column, you can see the description. Then uh, you can see some devices, hard disk, CD, DVD, pen drive, and memory chip. Then look at the technology, then get idea about what is the technology you are using for each uh, secondary memory. For the hard disk, magnetic. Optical DVD, uh, sorry, CD and DVD for optical, pen drive and memory solid state. Right. Regarding capacity, uh, then clearly you can get uh, these ideas. Then just look at the uh, chart here. How to fix? That means how you are going to use with the computer. Hard disk normally located inside the system you need. But there are some uh, situation, external hard disk also available. Right. 
CDs use CD drive, CD drive or DVD drive to read or write the CDs or DVD. Pen drive normally uh, fix it the USB port. Uh, if you want to use uh, SD card in your computer, having special slot called micro SD slot. Right? If you are having this slot, then you can use the SD card. Usage. Hard disk, normally we are using to installations of translation, large projects uh, and documents. CD and DVD, already we know, uh, normally we are using to move software, computer games, films like that, right? Uh, then pen drives, we are using to uh, move letters or photos, assignments like that, user created data from one location to another. Then regarding the cost, uh, hard disks are the most expensive one. Normally, uh, two TB hard disk uh, cost available fifteen thousand these days. Then CDs and DVDs are the lowest, thirty rupees uh, or fifty rupees. Then pen drive, uh, you can buy a pen drive size of uh, thirty-two GB or sixteen GB pen drive uh, for thousand two hundred rupees. So SD card for thousand rupees. Right, this is the uh, memory comparison. Then look at the this chart also very very important chart here. Uh, look at the chart here. It is like a triangular. Uh, then lowest to highest. Right, if you are going from bottom to up, then what happened to speed? Think about the speed. Then think about what happened. You are moving from top to uh, bottom, then regarding the capacity, then what happened to capacity? Speed 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 right? That means uh, the devices having lower speed, you can find the uh, bottom part of the hierarchy. Ne magnetic tape, netang hard disk, a CD, a tiny adu speed deca. Kramain value in RAM ROM can speed deca vadi. Cash can eat at vadi, registers tama, vadim a speed deca tin. Ranit patheta, darita, when at tang capacity a baland, aka kramain udena yata teadi, vadi veno. Aduma capacity a tin, udama tin a memory select and registers. It passes the capacity of the cache, the RAM ROM, the hard disk, the magnetic tape, the good act. Minimum chart, the good act, the Prashna Halati, the Prashna Patra, the memory hierarchy, the Aduma memory cell in the Vadi Megata, the Right. Based on this chart, and the, this uh, memory hierarchy, then try to complete this activity here. Right. Uh, this is uh, from the new link. I think all of you are open the activity. Uh, first and second one, these two, try to complete that one. After completing, send the message, okay.
But I think one is finished. Uh, we can discuss uh, the answers for these questions here. Uh, mark true or false. Then uh, memory chips and pen drives use optical technology to store data and information. Memory chips and pen drives. Actually, the last uh, examples, last type of technology we are uh, discussing here, uh, solid state. Memory chips and pen drives are example for solid state technology, not for the optical. Therefore, the statement is false. Uh, CD-ROM is suitable to move a software that size of 1000 megabytes. Uh, CD-ROM, the maximum size is 900 megabytes. Therefore, uh, you can't uh, transfer 1000 megabyte size of files through the CD-ROM. Therefore, the statement is false. Uh, third one, hard disk contain the copy of a software after installing through a DVD. Yes, that is correct because we are installing software or computer program through the CD or DVD. Once you uh, install to the, uh, through this DVD, then what is happening? The copy of the files uh, get to the hard disk, your hard disk. Therefore, the hard disk is available, the copies of your software and the other type of computer programs. Uh, then next one, uh, which one is correct regarding the secondary memory? Secondary memory, what's the answer for that? Can someone tell me the answer for that? Mukad hmm. make uh, Hari Prakashini. Which one is the correct? It saves data temporarily. Uh, normally, secondary memories we are using to store data permanently for the long time purpose. Therefore, uh, secondary memories are not used for the temporary storage temporary data. Therefore, the first statement is incorrect always located inside the system in always located actually there are some uh, hard disks available outside the system unit that is called in uh, external hard disk therefore the second one also incorrect best to use store user created data uh, yes that's the correct one ram is an example for secondary me memory that is also wrong because ram is example for primary memory Therefore, the third one is the correct. Uh, look at the fourth one. Which one is correct regarding the memory capacity? Then what's the answer for that one? Uh, DVD having the lowest capacity. Uh, no. Uh, the CD is available, the lower than the DVD. Therefore, it is not uh, the correct one, incorrect the statement. Maximum capacity of HDD is 2 TB. That's also incorrect. Uh, more uh, capacity is available nowadays for the hard disk. Flash drive having the maximum capacity. That's also incorrect. Uh, flash drive is not the device having the maximum capacity. Uh, none. Actually, in this case, we should go on to get the answer as none. Uh, then I think this one also complete. Uh, then what about here? Me diagram me fill karan karada. Yata mati ne mona memories the. What type of memories available? The bottom of this diagram. Magnetic tape. Right. Magnetic tape. Right. Then. Uh, in the middle, you can find uh, which type of memories here. Primary memory, but uh, specific memories, uh, they are RAM and ROM. RAM and ROM. Uh, in the top of the diagram, then which type of memory is available here? Registers. Registers. Right. Then both sides, you want to give the features when you are moving from bottom to up. Then what happened? Uh, increase speed. 
speed of the memory is increasing when you are going from bottom to up. But if you are going uh, top to bottom, then what happened? The capacity, capacity is increasing. Right. These are the points you want to remember in this diagram. Right. Actually, this is the end of uh, our discussion regarding the memory. Then next thing we should want to discuss about uh, computer ports. Computer ports are the place where you are going to attach uh, other devices with your computer. There are different, different uh, types of ports available, like uh, USB, FireWire, in that way. Right. From uh, next week, we are going to discuss uh, these ports uh, available in the computer. Uh, after discussing the ports, then we are reaching to the last section of the second chapter. That means data, uh, communication, and network. Right. Uh, after discussing the computer port, then we, are, uh, uh, we will start the computer network part. Right, okay, uh, for the today, I am going to stop here. Uh, thank you very much for the participation.